so in this lecture we are going to study about uh, affine transformations now we all know that all 2 by 2 all 2 tra 2d transformations can be expressed in a form of a 3 by 3 matrix so when i write a 3 by 3 matrix corresponding to a two dimensional transformation so let me say a b c d e f g h i okay now we know that this particular factor this particular part of the matrix is actually playing a very important role the the role is that most most of the times c and f are, are zero and this i which is a homogeneous uh, so for, for the translation matrix and all this homogeneous coordinates we always put a 0 0 1 in the last column and uh, this g and h actually correspond to what this g and h actually are playing the role in translations correct g plays the translation in x axis and h makes a translation in y axis so what is the role of the matrix uh, block a b c d which is above there so let me draw the four blocks like this what is the role of abcd there here i know that the various values of a and b suppose i'm going i'm not having anything over here and i'm just putting a zero I have b here or a c here or something here it will produce a scaling in the y direction if i choose the constants to be cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta then this will correspond to what then this will correspond to the uh, rotation part or if, if I write it down as one minus one, or if I write it as one like this, or a minus one minus one, or something like this. Okay, all these entries correspond to what? They correspond to different, different types of reflections. Okay, so what we have to see here now is uh, if I want to scale an object, if I want to scale an object uniformly, okay which is called as actually overall scaling so that that small section i will finish in this thing so what is overall scaling right so suppose i write a matrix which is having the last entry here instead of having 0, 0, 001 if i have a 0, 0, s okay and i'm going to put an identity matrix over here and 0, 0 else everywhere okay now what is going to happen is when i multiply any point x y one which is in the homogeneous coordinates okay what am i going to get i'm going to get x will be multiplied by one so i'll get an x y x into zero y into one one into zero so here i'll get y and the last point will be zero into x zero into y and s so i will get what x y s so what is happening the point actual point is uh, the point is x y one and now what is happening it is becoming x y s so when i divide i know that this point let me just go on the next page now so when i write the point as x y s this point is having is equivalent to which point just remember here in the homogeneous coordinates you have hx hy h right so if you divide the entire thing by h what will you get you'll get x y and one so here if i want to one what i will do i will divide the entire thing by s so i will get x by s i will get a y by s and i will get a one assume that s is not equal to zero because s equal to zero corresponds to which point it corresponds to point of infinity point at infinity right so that is why i'm not taking s equal to zero so this means that if if i have a factor if i have a matrix uh, if i have so this point is equivalent to this point so the conclusion is that x y 1 multiplied by that matrix what is that matrix that matrix is that unif overall scaling matrix is one one in the diagonal and s on the diagonal all three on the diagonal then i will get x y s but x y s is equivalent to which point it is equivalent to x upon s y upon s and one so this means that this was my input point and what is the output i'm getting this point so this matrix overall scaling matrix is doing what it is taking the point x y 1 and what is the output it sends to the point x upon s y upon s and 1 so this means that the point is contracted or it is pulled towards the ori origin if the va according to the values of s okay so 
this means that the matrix T, which is 1, 1, and S, okay, produces scaling in X coordinate and Y coordinate by how much factor? By the factor 1 upon S, because the point X, Y, 1 goes to x upon s y upon s and one okay the simplest example is that what is the transformation which will what what is the transformation which will produce overall scaling of an object by factor three so what should i write here if i want overall scaling of an object by factor three. So what we will do is, according to the above observations, I will write a one one on the diagonal. And here, I have to put a suitable number, okay? If I put here three, the overall object will be scaled by one by three, but I don't want it to one make the one third of the object. I want to make it three times the object. So here, I should write what? I should write 1 upon 3. If you observe this carefully, the previous thing, if you want to scale, if, if the factor here is S, here if I have S, then what does it do? Then it actually makes the scaling of what? It makes the scaling of 1 by S. So this is the uh, important observation you have to do. Okay, suppose I want to make an object, suppose this is an object, and I want to make it exactly the half of that object, the half the size of that object, okay? So what matrix T will I use to do this? So this is making half of the object means I'm, I'm the overall scaling will be by factor what? What will be the factor? The factor overall, overall scaling factor will be half. I want to make half of the object. So the matrix will be what? One, one in the first block. 0, 0 year, 0, 0 year. And what is the overall factor? Is it half? No, is it, it will be how much? It will be two. So this matrix will perform overall scaling of the object, means it will half the, it will half the size of the object. So with this, this section gets over.